I got the Twitter thread to end all Twitter thread, boys. Uh, one of you mentioned that you hope that it's just a god tier level sh post, but it's not. A few of you fine people in the Donut Scuba Squad tagged me in this picture today and I was laughing my ass off. I was like, holy crap, this is the funniest satire I've seen on Twitter in a long time. This is like the Cuntsman guy from last year crying about shooting the AR-15 all over again. The recoil bruised my shoulder. The brass shell casings disoriented me as they flew past my face. These officers are militarized, armed to exact violence. Look at the picture. Uh, to injure, to terrorize, to suppress voice, violate rights. In many ways, they're a reflection of the reality of police forces, force, and violence. But don't think it's meant as a political statement, nor would a three-year-old get it. Jesus Christ, Scott, you got all that from that picture? I mean, Lego's exact violence sometimes, but damn, I feel like you're reaching a little bit to be offended on this one. Okay, before we go any further, I realize that these are not Legos. These are Playmobil toys. They're like Legos, they kind of look like Legos, but they're not. They look like malnourished Legos, and they come in themes, kind of like Ghostbusters, Pirates, Police Station, The Hateful Eight. Fortunately for all of us people who are only looking for entertainment on the internet, there's a whole thread. Cash of weapons that came with Playmobil's police helicopter motorcycle given to my son by a very well-meaning relatives. One gas mask, three handguns, one machine gun, one baton, one asp, one set of handcuffs, one flashlight. Loves the helicopter. I confiscated the rest. Why are these included? Well, Scott, I can only imagine that some toy developers, some, some toy creators, some, some toy thinker guys were sitting in Zerndorf, Germany one day and they were thinking, hey, we're going to make an American police tactical team. Well, what do American police tactical teams have? I say tactical team, not just police, not just regular police officers, patrol officers, because Scott is talking about the tactical helicopter set. So these toy designers, they pull out their keyboards and they type in American SWAT team on Google and what do they find? It's common for American police tactical teams to have things like guns and, and handcuffs and uh, s gas mask and <laughs> machine guns. I have no idea what that thing is. It looks like Cable's gun in Deadpool 2. Short answer, Scott, they're included in that set because that's what SWAT teams carry. Approximately 2,900 people have been shot dead by police in America since Michael Brown's killing in 2014. You can't help but to laugh at the picture. The numbers sound about right, and uh, of course, the overwhelming majority of those are completely 100% justified. Remember, everyone, he's still getting all this from a, a set of toys. An asp is a retractable metal baton used to subdue people with brute force. When an officer broke into my client's house in 2015 and couldn't get his asp open, he jabbed him in the back repeatedly with a sharp base. Taking chunks of skin out of his back, wounds haven't healed. Unfortunately, sometimes forces needed, Scott, I hate to break it to you, that as a defense attorney, you, you should know that arrests aren't always hugs and kisses and, sir, can you please come here? Sir, can I please put these handcuffs on you? Things like that happen. Also, I've never seen an aspaton with a sharp base. That's usually where the little button is to close the aspaton. So it's been three years since someone got hit with an aspaton in the back and they still haven't healed up. Mm. Again, all this is over a toy. After Rodney King's horrific assault, the baton became a symbol of law enforcement abuse. Its use has declined dramatically. In 1990, it was used 741 times by LAPD. By 2015, that number declined to 54. Still necessary for these toys, though. Someone might need a beating, I guess. If we're really going to go on a tangent about Rodney King over a, a toy baton and a Playmobil set, I only have one question for Playmobil, and that's where's my roof Korean Playmobil set? Again, let me remind you all this is still over a toy. This image, this gas mask, this this anonymous officer in the picture, dude. In light of what we've seen with violent suppression of peaceful protests historically and what we're hearing and seeing now on the border with CBP agents hurling poisonous gas at unarmed women and children seeking asylum. Too much. I'm not getting into the whole border thing. You guys know I try to steer clear of that kind of stuff. If you want to see a video that has to do with border patrol agents trading spicy air canisters with big ass rocks on the border, Mike the Cop made a video about it. This thread is starting to get a bit ridiculous. Do you want to know what I would tell my son if he asked about certain items in his police place set? I would say, yes, son, those are all items that police carry. <laughs> Even the more benign common items are all too familiar tools of capture and invasion of privacy my clients face every day. Early morning home raids with the strobe light effect of officer flashlights bounding off bedroom walls. Two tight cuffs on young black men up against the wall. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, look at the picture. I've never seen anybody get so bent out of shape over 
Toy handcuffs and a toy flashlight. Are we really gonna go after the handcuffs and the flashlight now? I mean, I, at this point I understand he, he's a pretty sensitive guy, but the, the handcuffs and the flashlight? Yes, cops do raid people. Yes, cops do use flashlights. And yes, cops do use handcuffs. I'm getting confused about what this threat is even about anymore. Oh God, there's replies. Oh man, went down the rabbit hole. They have a prison too. It's bad. Four handguns, two machine guns, two sniper rifles, two batons, one weapons locker. Yep, Scott, those are all things that prison have. Playmobil's obviously just honest with their toy sets. Prisons have handguns, rifles, batons, and weapons lockers. If you don't want your kids playing with a kind of realistic prison, then don't buy the prison for your kids to play with. Scott mentioned earlier that Playmobil needs to critically think on this. They did. They put things in the play set that are in prisons that kids can accept, that kids will understand, that if you talk with your kids like they're a person, they'll understand. I mean, they left out the prison rape, the shanks, the homemade fleshlight, the tattoo guns made out of an ink pen, the ramen noodles, the menthols, and the keistered cocaine. They put things in here that kids can honestly handle the concept of and understand even from a child's point of view these are things that are in a jail hey dad why is there a gun in this prison set well son because prisons have guns in them oh my god it gets even deeper here is a sociopathic smiling guard holding a sniper rifle in his torture chamber full of weapons and handcuffs with a prisoner already missing half his body at this point i had to stop and ponder life for a few minutes like no fucking way is this not satire it was kind of believable up until this point there's a lot of sensitive people in the world but after looking through Scott's page a little bit, it's it's not satire. Can you imagine how miserable it must be going through life trying to be offended by everything? The guard is smiling because every single character in Playmobil is smiling. His torture chamber is still just basic police gear. He got some batons in there, got some guns, he got some of those handcuffs and flashlights and the prisoner missing half of his body honestly just looks like a mannequin for the prison clothing oh wait excuse me the sociopathic officer right there must have removed the prisoner's arms and legs and then skinned his face off of his head but at least they're only locking up real bad guys like this crazed monster with what looks like bloody shanks attached to his legs that's just a design on his clothing from a really old robber play set that they made i guess they had it left over and so they threw it on this police play set <laughs> just keep on reaching man keep on reaching you know what now that i've gone over all this i've been reflecting for a while and he could be right. Maybe, just maybe, I should protect my son from his toys. All right. Um. Mm. Uh, no. Fart. A fart gun. Farts were commonly used by Nazis. Uh, ma magnifying gla magnifying glasses are commonly used by detectives to find clues to oppress minorities. American flag pencil. Yep. Yep. It's got an American flag on it. Don't want to. Don't want to teach him about that. Re reachy arm thing probably probably represents uh, the long reach of our government to uh, oppress us. That's can't have that. Hmm, a green frog. Green is the color of Border Patrol's uniforms. Therefore, this frog could represent how evil Border Patrol agents are. This mustache could possibly be used to represent the patriarchy. What's what? what dear, dear God, what? What is, what? Oh, 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 oh my god, it's a policeman. <laughs> he has Legos too. This Lego man has markings on his face like he's a, he's a bad guy and he doesn't have arms. Which, you know, that, that just represents how police sometimes tear people's arms off when they, they are at peaceful protests. This stormtrooper, it looks like he, he has no head, and as you know, uh, stormtroopers are clones and basically slaves, so this represents the abuse brought onto slaves, and um, so that's, you know, none, none of that. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with these toys. I told my son, yes, guns are real and they're tools that are necessary for a police officer. Just like rifles, gas masks, batons, and yes, even those horrific handcuffs and flashlights. God, why did we ever give those to police? Scott seems like a good dad and he's only trying to do what's best for his son and his point of view. You do you, man. But you're reaching really hard to be offended on this one. No one is trying to normalize police brutality or police militarization. 
this is just Playmobil saying, hey, these are the tools that police have, and these are the tools that tactical teams have, and these are the tools that jails have. This is this is life. Now, if your kid starts lining up civilians on a wall and sniping them with the little police guy, you know, that's that's not a problem with the tools. That's a problem with parenting. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. As soon as you see this video, I will be streaming. Everyone, please have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.